Hello, I'm Sharon. Welcome to the virtual showing of the Sharon Meyer Collection, hosted by the Duncan McClellan Gallery in St. Petersburg, Florida. For those of you that don't know me or my work, I've been creating and designing jewelry for more than 30 years. My collection ranges from very big and bold to small and delicate. I've been sold nationally and internationally. I've set this up so that it's almost as if you've walked into the gallery and you get to see my entire show in the way in which it would be if you're standing in front of it. The collection has been made of precious and semi-precious stones. I work in sterling silver, 14 karat and 18 karat. And as you can see, there's necklaces, earrings, bracelets, earrings, many earrings. <laughs> um, the summer collection that I put together here not only has a lot of bright colors, but it has some real neutrals as well. And I'd really like to start sharing with you some of the neutrals I have in the gray and the black tones. One of my favorite pieces, and I'll pull out of the case, is my woven hematine lariat. So I'm known for my lariats, but this particular one is woven hematine. It takes yards and yards of cords to weave this necklace. It's really a labor of love. The center stone is a feldspar cabochon set in sterling silver. And as you can see, there's patterning going on in the design of the lariat. This is the way you wear it. You loop it around, it lies flat on the neck. This isn't a lariat that you can tie and wear many different ways like most of my lariats, but you just get this great edgy sleek look. It almost looks like leather. So that's one of my fun pieces. And then in the case, I have some more of my delicate necklaces. You'll see my double strand chain that I use with a diamond loop and the carved leaf. So this is jade. There'll be several pieces of jade in the collection, but this is some of the delicate. Next to it is a lariat, really lightweight, almost like you don't even feel you have it on. It has the diamond pieces on the end. Really simple wear. You can layer it, or if you want something that's very delicate, that one's wonderful. In the front is black tourmaline. It's very organic looking. It isn't polished. You will see some little sparkles coming in and off of it. The center is done with prehistoric woolly mammoth tusk ivory from Alaska. So that is a really bold kind of contemporary look if you want something smooth. It does have my signature bird clasp on it with my peacock and you'll, I'll show you some of that later on as well. Some of the stacking earrings. And I will share with you, we'll pull this out, my trilobite collection, some of it at least. Here you'll see the earrings are trilobites. Trilobites are millions of year old fossils. They're sourced all over the globe. The top is black um, star sapphires. And it's done with my chiseled bezel. They're done with posts set in sterling silver. The trilobites are, are edgy in one way. Uh, I mean, to make jewelry out of them as fossils um, is really fun. The ring is an unusual shape. I love it more in that triangular cut. The trilobite is off to the one side. I've set this in sterling silver. And on the one side where there's a lot of texture, those are actually little tiny skulls. So for those of you that love edgy, um, the skulls are really fun. Oops. And I've paired it with the necklace that I think is um, really, you know, an everyday wear. It's matte hematine with just an oxidized little diamond pendant, but it's just a great, simple, classic, look. I love the whole set together and each of them on their own. Some of the gemstones that I work with, um, I've done a lot of the jewel tones throughout the collection. These particular ones are some of my favorite. I love rubies. And you'll see that these are beautiful rubies 
and then the multicolored are more like the watermelon tourmaline. You'll have varying colors going through. They're carved oval beads and I've accented them with 18 karat gold. All of my long necklaces are anywhere from like 33 to 45 inches so you can wear them double or triple but the pop of pink next to the tourmaline is beautiful. They're great on their own and yet I, I love them as a combo together. More pink, um, but this is an unusual pink. Um, this is carved morganite. I'm gonna... I love the carving. It's a square carved morganite. It's surrounded by um, black sapphires, square black sapphires. It's a lightweight ring, but has scale. And one of the things that I really love about this is how high I've set the stone. So you get real dimension going on. Love the color in that. In here you'll see some more carved tourmaline with gold. And, and then in the front, we have a little more gray. And I'll share with you the Labradorite necklace. So this Labradorite is kind of a, a almost like a moonstone in the sense that it moves when you move with it. This piece I've done in 18 karat white gold as I wanted it to keep its bright white against the Labradorite. You can see tiny floating um, diamonds, bezel set, really delicate, but it's got a lot of punch. If you really saw it up close or in your hand, you really get to appreciate the leverage right. And below it are the Tahitian pearls. I love unusual pearls. The Baroques give me that unusual shape. Those are paired with an oxidized silver pendant with diamonds, a little rose gold. And then I've paired it with some really great, just great Tahitian pearl drops with a contemporary top. Great neutrals. More of the gem stones or jewel tone gem stones in the collection are the Zambian emeralds. And I have several pieces in the case. There's a single strand with a diamond pendant. I love the color. It's really clean material, bright Kelly green. And above that, I have carved Peruvian opals. So this is a really great summer piece to just wear every day. Gold chain with a little diamond accent. Above that is another simple piece that you can wear all the time in the faceted pyrite. I have a lot of pyrite in the collection, um, but this one is just a really delicate, simple piece. The Zambian emeralds, I think, are, I've done a long 34 inch piece and beautifully paired with carved jadeite. So the jadeite is done with a little touch of 18 karat on the sides and diamond. You can see the clarity of the Zambian emeralds around it. It's a beautiful combination. I love when you can use two different stones but they have the same hues of color. And again this long emerald can be doubled up. It's long enough to be able to do that and yet you can wear it single. It has little accents of gold and diamond as well. Beautiful color green. More pyrite. Um, the 60 inch ropes that I do, I do in pyrite, I do with gold, I do with silver, I have them um, done in black spinels as well. A 60 inch rope, endless, you can double it, you can triple it, you can tie it, you can wear this so many different ways. It's one of the staples in my own personal collection. And then I've paired it with bracelets, pyrite bracelets. I have this one in a multi-strand, almost I think it's like 11 strand, a fine pyrite. Um, they're all knotted on silk so you have real fluidity going on. And then I've done a three strand with the little satin gold. All my class have safety locks on them so you can be assured that they'll be secure when you're wearing them. And 
when you look at this whole combination, I have the matching earrings, the bracelets, the necklace, they're great worn together or again separately, but pirate's a great neutral color. You can wear it with anything. It's almost like what I consider a non-color in terms of metal, but it works well with gold and with silver. I have in the case here, more summer color. We have turquoise and amazonite, delicate necklaces, great worn with t-shirts and blue jeans or shorts. If you want just something very lightweight, that's warm outside and yet you want to pop a color, these are wonderful delicate necklaces. I'm going to pull out the large piece here. This is amethyst, but it is almost like um, chiseled rather than a high polished or faceted and that's what I find so interesting about this material. <clears throat> Gorgeous color. It's done with natural coral. You can see all the indentations in the coral. I've accented it with the touch of um, a Baroque pearl that has some fabulous colors going on. And I've designed with it a pair of earrings that are natural banded agate. Uh, so these are almost like three tones. So you have the, the pale white, but then you have the orange and the darker salmon color. The top is done in um, the salmon color coral. They're, they have a nice scale to them, but they are very lightweight earrings. So again, great color combos together or separate. And front and center, I have more of the jewel tones. These are the blue sapphires. These are natural Burmese sapphires, so they're not treated. I've done them with the golden diamond again. The top one you'll see is just a single strand with the drop pendant. And then these are not separate. These are one long one that you can double up. It has my floating bezel set diamond. Very lightweight, but the color blue is just fabulous. The rubies and emeralds and sapphires that I have in this collection. I'm really excited about. And then it wouldn't be summer without Sleeping Beauty turquoise. We have a five strand necklace here of the finest Sleeping Beauty turquoise. This is all one piece accented with 18 karat gold. The Sleeping Beauty turquoise is from the namesake mine in Arizona which is now closed so there's a limited supply of it. I've paired it with um, Teardrops of the matching material with gold posts. And then for something fun, whether you want to stack or not, it's fun all in itself. This is Australian opal, rose cut diamonds, accented with a little black around them, and just on a simple strand of fine pearls. Delicate, but it's got a lot of punch, great color to it. Great summer piece. We're going to go up at the top on the shelf and we have a little collection here of different stones. Um, carved green tourmaline with the diamond loop on my fine chain. Um, a really beautiful specimen of dark green tourmaline. Aquamarine ring and sterling with little diamond. Very comfortable ring. Um, diamond drop earrings with white, white 18 karat gold ear loops. And then as you move along, coming into beautiful Apache Peridot. This is a, a 9.3 carat um, Apache Peridot from Arizona. I've set it in more of my trumpet style satin gold. You can see the opening so you get a lot of light reflection coming into the stone. And then for fun, I did the high polish face so that it really accents the stone. But Peridot at its best, I just the color's amazing. And then we have more of the big and bold, beautiful summer ocean color. This is natural aquamarine, mine from a mine in Brazil. I've done it with an asymmetrical piece in the front, bezel set in gold with a little floating diamond. I love how this piece just lies flat on your neck. And then this one also has my signature clasp on it, only this one's done in the 18 karat. It has my peacock on the one side. I love the ease of working it, how simple it is, and it's just very comfortable on. 
true summer colors. I'm going to take these off of here. These are my beautiful pearl collection. We have some unusual pearls and one of my lariats. So the lariat is done with really fine pearls. They're weightless and you can see that they just have great movement. The center is um, a piece of an antique mother of pearl gaming counter done in 18 karat gold. And it is a lariat that you can wear short or long. It has a little gold drip at the bottom. Two different sizes of pearls, very delicate. I just love the movement. The other strand, and this is the way it would be if you were standing here in front of my show. We would have jewelry all over the counter and having just a lot of fun with it. These are Keshi pearls. So this can be worn double. Keshi pearls are a naturally forming pearl in the oyster. They are accented with a touch of the satin gold and diamond. I love the organic shape of a Keshi pearl. And then I've done the Keshi Pearl Ring. So this is a larger Keshi Pearl. Again, that organic shape, I've kept it going within the setting. And I've done this in 18 karat, both satin and high polished. So again, very organic. And then I have my pendant. And this is done with aquamarine and it is appetite and pearl. It's an enhancer that you can wear on a gold chain, you can put it on a strand of pearls. It just has really great ocean colors as well. High polished. So that's a really fun piece. I think we're going to wrap it up with my opals. These are Australian opals. It's a beautiful set. <clears throat> I've done it with that delicate chain where the diamonds are floating. It looks like you're in an airplane above the ocean and you're looking down through the greens and blues. It's just beautiful color. And I was able to get a, and source enough of the material to do the matching earrings. So to have a match set um, is really, really a wonderful thing. I was really excited about that. The earrings are just studs with posts because you don't need a whole lot with this necklace. It has so much pop all on its own. Great summer wear again. I really want to thank you for sharing in my virtual Sharon Meyer show. Um, all of these pieces are available through the Malcolm McClellan Gallery on his website. You'll be able to view them and see them up close and get a good still picture of them. Um, I want to thank Duncan and his staff for hosting me for this great summer event. I hope you all have a wonderful summer. Thank you again. Well, you have some beautiful work in the case and I know you have other great work available. Um, all of this work is available through the gallery and we have individual images which we're happy to send to anyone if they have any questions or would like to see something and um, Sharon's willing to speak to everyone about uh, individual pieces if you have more questions. We're going to show a mm -hmm. short presentation with uh, some images that Sharon took of the, the some of the pieces in the case. So let's see um, if you can see that. Yeah, this is kind of a collage of some of the pieces you saw here, but beautiful garnet bracelet as well. Orange garnet, rare. Carved jade, I love jade. That is one you'll see jade pieces throughout the collection. That one's done in 18 karat. And the labradorite that you saw in the front case, you can really see the color in this picture too, in the 18 karat white gold and the Australian opals that was my final piece on top of the case. And Sleeping Beauty turquoise is just so great for summer. So pure. Yeah, and delicate, you know, 
those earrings are like an inch long, both that pair and the diamond pair. They're delicate earrings. And that's the whole pyrite collection. It's like I said, it's such an easy wear, really fun. It's a great fun, fun long piece. And the sapphires that I just showed you again, the blue, you really can see the blue in the photograph. And that, so there's the Keshi pearl ring. The necklace I just had out on top of the counter, that's a mauve pearl, kind of a blush tone with the freeform flower, much like the casting I showed you of the little tiny ones. This is a large one for the pendant. And that was the piece I was wearing in the video, beautiful ruby tassels with sterling silver chain and diamond caps. And the small piece of the sapphire. And that woven piece, those, those feel so wonderful. And that's a jade, it's carved jade, I mean carved coral on the top, jade, and then almost like a 19 millimeter mauve set in satin gold. And that is the enhancer. It can be worn with pearls. I'm showing it here with pearls. Um, but it could be worn on a chain too, so you can, it's detachable. And the beautiful aquamarine. I could jump in and swim in that one. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. And the fun coral and amethyst. <laughs> Tried to have summer colors. And that's the whole coral set. So there's some um, really delicate or the little bit larger and then just paired with the, I'm even wearing a pair of those diamond earrings today. more of that beautiful aquamarine, but that's that Keshi pearl necklace I had showed you when I showed the ring. Ocean color. And that's the carved watermelon tourmaline, so in the shape of a leaf, and then I've mirrored the whole shape of it and had the metal come in and out for the um, texture on that. And those are with heavy solid 18 karat gold beads that are carved as well. And then pink morganite. So morganite was that square ring I showed you in the case. This is the material in bead form. It takes on a totally different look. And then the pyrite. I'm wearing the big one today. It's very lightweight. And then some of those really fun t-shirt leather, tiny turquoise and pale turquoise color necklaces. That's beautiful. Um, Thank you everyone for coming. And again, we have all the information on these beautiful pieces that Sharon has shared with us and more that are available and as more. well. Um, so Duncan uh, also wants to uh, thank everybody and emphasize uh, that you're invited to the gallery, Duncan. Yes, uh, thanks Mary. And thank you, Sharon. This was absolutely wonderful. And to see the work, uh, some of the new work that you've been doing, uh, it's gorgeous. Uh, so it, thank you very much. And thank you all for joining today. Uh, we'd love to see you in the gallery. Just give us a call. Uh, we're taking appointments. Uh, that's how we prefer to run the gallery right now. But uh, we'd love to see you. And thank you. And we'll see you next week. Next week we Bye -bye. have John Miller, and uh, he's very different from Sharon. Nobody can compare with Sharon Meyer. We're so lucky to have been seeing you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you all. Okay. Bye-bye. See you next week.